Hello everyone, just uh, try a different camera thing here because uh, <clears throat> Hello everyone, haven't done a video in a while so I'm back because again I'm doing something that's a bit special this time As you can see here, this says a uh, SHF upgrade This is a Hong Kong group and the Chinese says Koi so you know, change house, like custom house And they've been doing a lot of stuff, mostly Kamen Rider, but there's been other stuff for Dragon Ball Z as well And before we continue, full disclosure, I paid with my own money for everything you see in this video. I purchased it because there's stuff that I wanted. Uh, there's a few other things that uh, are pretty awesome on their site, but um, I'm, I don't think it's worth the money. But you know, the stuff that I bought is specific things I think, yeah, that's actually pretty decent. So I've got a bunch of stuff here all rolled into one video. There you go. Trying a new camera with uh, 4K 60 FPS. Uh, it's on my phone, but I mean, yeah, I'm still recording from mic. And this video is uh, also going to be in Cantonese. Uh, so you can check that out if you want. So here we go. Okay, so this is a pretty big box for what's supposed to be the main item in here. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Anyway, let's open up this box and let's see what's inside. So the first thing is uh, something I ordered a long time ago. And these are replacement Kabuto joints for the uh, real bone version. I uh, bought two sets of these but they accidentally only sent me one the first time around. I was like, hey, so they said that they would quickly dispatch the other ones but I was like, no, no, that's fine. A waste of postage, materials, packing and all that. Just ship it with my next order which is exactly what I did and they remembered. I got two sets here because I have both Kabuto and Dark Kabuto. So, I'll look at those in a moment. The okay, second thing I ordered uh, is the uh, Kamarada Gun Kiwami Arms Replacement Cave. You can see that this uh, is printed quite nicely. And uh, it has a wire that's going all the way around the side and the bottom, so that's good. And it's right on the other side, so uh, I had to go through a little bit of process. I'll go through that later in the video, swapping this cape with the original uh, plastic one. That's just a bit ugly and janky. But uh, So the overall look of this is pretty nice, but I do recommend adding a bit of glue to the side. As you can see, it's adding to, uh, uh, you know, you can see there, look at that. It's starting to peel at the edges, the furry like the string and stuff starting to come off so um, yeah if they make more of these in the future maybe think about you know having a glue edge just to make it more solid uh, the material itself is very smooth very nice actually a bit on the shiny matte side and on the black side and more just fabricy shiny on this side like a ribbon texture and the print itself is pretty sharp so that's, that's good, that's gun stuff. I have one more gun thing in here, so I just picked that up first. Oh yes, I also bought the replacement thing. For those of you who've seen it or don't know, the Kamada Gun Kiwami chest piece is just a very flimsy sticker sheet and lots of folds and crease, and depending on your luck, the uh, <laughs> it could be really bad or just not very good. And so this one has proper cutouts and stuff that she made out of like a, like a slightly metal piece. So this is supposed to go in there a lot nicer. Again, gonna have to do some sort of swapping to get it done. So move that to the side. All right, uh, the rest of the stuff are all zero one related. As you can see, here is a sticker sheet. Their first sticker sheet for zero one, and I've got zero one stickers: Falcon, Jin, Hobi, and Valkyrie, and a, few, a special one. Not sure what that special one is. If I can just can I focus on that? Yes, I can. Uh, oh, it just says uh, it's, their, it's their shop and logo and whatever. So I didn't just buy the sticker sheet, right? If it's a sticker sheet, I'll print it myself and just print it. But what I did buy actually came in here. And again, they made a shipping order and for everyone. And then they automatically uh, said that, hey, we'll quickly ship it out. So what's in here? Let's open that up. All right. So. So uh, first they only shipped, the mistake was they only shipped one of these uh, Pogwise key holders, so that's really cool. Tiny Pogwise key holder, and uh, each one can hold four, and then of course they come with four Pogwise keys each. So you got different colors, you got yellow, blue, orange, pink, yellow, blue, purple, and I think that's just like black or gray, or oh, gray. So different colors there, so you're gonna apply the stickers yourself, and yeah, all of these do come out. There you go. And the awesome thing about them is they actually open up with a uh, slight transparency to them. Slight transparent, but they open up. All of them open up, that's pretty cool. Aside from these uh, regular size ones that open up, uh, there's also four extra ones. We've got yellow, blue, pink and grey. 
and these are smaller and the idea of these is that they will fit and sit inside the uh, progress key uh, holders that come with some of the uh, figure arts so I'll plug those in in a moment and the final thing we have in this box is a replacement head for Cameron Rider 01 and this is a light up head so um, if you want to look at these things individually and talk about them I'll leave time codes in the video description below Start with the Kabuto drawing. See his uh, elbows there? Well, that's not the original elbow. I bought a uh, bootleg cougar figure and it, the joint works. I just had to draw a hole in there to attach the uh, his uh, elbow shield pad thing, whatever. So uh, and you see it sort of works, but uh, it's obviously not the right one. And of course I want the one that actually fits in there properly. So I'm going to change that out and you'll know, give this joint back to the bootleg cougar, whatever. So I might as well test the other joints here. See, this one's still fine. Like, it's not cracking anything, but uh, oh, that keeps popping off. That's been a problem since day one or whatever. So uh, that joint seems to be fine. And I'm just gonna bring in my dark Kabuto. Let me try his joint to see. Uh, this one seems to be fine. That one's fine. And this one's fine too. And oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Okay, so I actually recorded this part with, uh, in Cantonese because, you know, I'm not going to pull the joints out and push them back in all over again. But anyway, so I'm going through here and I'm picking the joints and seeing what difference, um, what, which side should I pick. And it turns out it was um, pretty hard to do it on camera, so I did it off camera. But first of all, is to pull the old joint out uh, for the uh, Cougar bootleg. And as you see here, I wrapped it around with tissue. You can do that with a towel or an old shirt or some kind of cloth because what you don't want to do is uh, put, put like a plier or clamp like that directly onto the plastic because your metal is a lot harder than plastic and that will cause uh, damage and, and you're just imprinting and scratching and all that so you know wrap something soft around your actual item or toy before you're trying to clip something out and of course it will help if you soak this in hot water to soften up the plastic now after put it out I realized I pushed the wrong joint in so I did it again proper joint uh, so beware that uh, there's a slightly more pointier or sharper side on the elbow little triangle that points outwards and uh, once i used the correct side everything plugged in very easily the first thing i noticed was that the uh color of the joint is a bit more has a bit more of a matte finish that matches the uh, arm plastic whereas the original joint is a bit more shiny and does stand out a little bit but on the other hand i did notice that the original joint is much more tighter than the new one. The new one you see here me moving the two arms down. Uh, the original joint is moving the elbow joint instead whereas the new one you can see it, his arms unfolding unlike the original joint but that's fine it's not loose or anything like it's not an, you know, a problem it's just loose slightly looser than the original. Plugging those uh, elbow pads back in I notice that uh, it's a lot more secure more solid than the original <laughs> one so hopefully that means it's a lot less easy to lose those elbow pads. And finally, uh, they did say that these joints are made out of a soft plastic than the original SH figure arts. I hope that is true and uh, that these will last for a long time. So I'm quite happy with these joints and uh, I'm glad I pre-ordered the joints for DK and DN because while mine haven't had the cracking issue like a lot of other people, I don't know that's when it's going to happen. And when it does happen, I'm glad I do have a set of spare joints here because, you know, these are limited run products, you know, made by a, a you know, small manufacturer and small group. So, you know, it's... Sometimes I just imagine if I don't buy it now or don't order it now, uh, that there's no chance of me finding it in the future. Or even if I do find it, it'll be you know, very expensive from another seller. So yeah, so these joints are good. If you can still get it, get it and replace your Kabuto joints if they are broken. And if you have any problems with your decayed and DN joints, then I recommend picking up the joints from them as well. Okay, so first thing I did was apply stickers to the original SH Figuarts Progress keys. And you see, I only applied it to the uh, inside of it, like the blue side. Because, I mean, these things already have a logo printed on them. And since these are going to be inserted into the riders' belts and engine devices anyway, I didn't want to cover them up, so I decided not to use that. And you see here, these stickers, they apply quite well. They're cut to uh, pretty much a perfect fit, so that's pretty good. I'm just going to move them to the side here. Okay, next are these four very tiny keys. And yeah these apply okay too. The biggest problem with these is you can see the white edge around the cut so I recommend getting like a very tiny black marker pen like I do, I do one of the Gundam marker pens and then just going around the side and then you can cover up that cut out line. 
And finally, here's a bunch of uh, the progress keys that they made. So for, for these ones, uh, there's three of them that I didn't bother applying anything to them because these are just generic ones and it's not like that they've released any of the, uh, most of the other forms in the fish figures anyway. So these three extra color ones, I didn't apply any stickers to them. So they're sort of just like generic, can be anything keys. Just move those to the side. And then so the main color ones, I did apply the uh, stickers to them. So let me just get this in, open it up. So yeah, all of them, uh, I've applied stickers on the inside and the outside. And uh, since the official one has the more sort of white-ish logo, I didn't use that sticker. I used the one where it's just all yellow, like it's not activated yet. And uh, I use, um, I was thinking about using the white one because it's a bit more obvious and clear, but you know, this kind of looks a bit different to the official one. So that's kind of nice to do it like that. The biggest problem with these things is when you try to close it, this little sticker tab right there, that's gonna push against the plastic and you're gonna start peeling the uh, sticker off. So what you gotta do is, you gotta almost like peel the front piece back off and then just close it back up again. And that's falling apart. So, so these are easy to open, not easy to close at all. So the small ones fit into the belt quite nicely and they're not going to fall out. And uh, in, in the future, when I, because I did order one of the uh, later forms of uh, Zeal One, so I'm gonna put this regular key in that, and then the pink one he can hold on to. And here, uh, again, I ordered one of his more complete forms, so that's gonna go in his belt, and then, you know, this uh, gorilla one can stay in there as well. First, we have Zeal One here because he has the smallest difference because most of his key is hidden inside the belt. But you can probably see just a tiny bit of blue just sticking out there. And here he is holding on to that progress key. Next up with a Falcon, uh, you can definitely see a lot more detail there of the blue just sticking out on his uh, little henchin belt. So that's pretty cool. There he is opening his key. Oh, and by the way, the uh, keys that they made that can open can also be slotted into the engine devices. They're not too tight, not too loose, so pretty good. Valkyrie, of course, has the exact same effects as Falcon because they use the same uh, shutterized gun. And you can see a little bit more details there. And then with Jin and Hover B, the keys are even more obvious because most of it is exposed on the belt. Uh, especially if you have the other sticker applied as well, that's also partially exposed, so you can see a lot more detail there. Alright, next up is the helmet. Uh, first thing I notice is the eyes seem a little bit smaller. Uh, the jaw is a bit bigger and when I turn him to the side, the head is also bigger as well, like wider, thicker. So it, I guess it looks more like a head, it's not too small. Hmm. And then to uh, swap it, you just, I guess you just pop the head off. That's not too hard except the peg went with the head, so I'm going to get the pliers then. So after a bit of pulling, I finally managed to pull that peg out. It was really tight and annoying. So here we go, let's apply the new head onto it. Just a hole right there and just line it up. Okay, so here we have the head. Uh, it looks fine, but you see it, look, it's kind of loose. Look at that, look at that, it's not good. Um, so that's not good, but uh, what's not loose is the actual head itself. So uh, fortunately, this is actually a mask design, like in the show, so they can hide the seam lines very good. And then this top piece comes up, and you see also actually follows a some design pattern of the actual suit itself, so that can come up. And you can see this little chip inside. Now this requires a battery that is CR627. If you find the SR1, the voltage is wrong. You need the three volt CR1 to actually get it to work. And it's just like that. Then you just push the battery out, and all or, you know, or replace it, just push one in. Now this thing does not come with a battery, you gotta get it yourself. And for me personally in Hong Kong, it was quite hard to find and I had to go to specifically to uh, some sort of pole to get the batteries. And this thing is activated by magnets. If you don't have any magnets around, there are also magnets in the Rider DX20, such as the progress key itself. That's how it triggers the belt. So you can see it's built on the purple side and uh, hopefully the red in the eyes will help cover that. So when you put this piece it's uh, the first piece down, it's a bit fidgety. And you see that there's a uh, sort of a, a window piece there, like a, a sanded piece, and it spreads the light out uh, more evenly than, what, than you know, without. So, and then once you put the mask piece back on, a bit fidgety. Right, there we go. Moment of truth. Ding! Oh, it, it is still bit on the purple side. Oh well, uh, it's a lot brighter on camera. Uh, with my naked eye, is a bit more 
I don't know, darker. So to my eyes, it's a bit more like it is right now. You can still see the compound eye effects. And the light, uh, obviously the light's going to shine a bit easier on the certain angles, but if you're just looking at the front, it looks pretty good. It's definitely uh, glowing, so this should help with uh, your photography a lot, you know, if you don't want to do a Photoshop and all that. Okay, we've gone to the most complex one of uh, this video, and that's going to be replacing the chest piece here and the cape. If you take a close look at my one here, you can see, yep, there's some sticker folds there, not the worst in the world, but they're definitely there, and, uh, you know, replacing it would just make it look a lot better. And also the colors here are a little bit more on the dull side compared to the ones that they've printed. So, even when this thing first came out, a lot of people did complain about it. So, yeah, uh, before we move on with doing anything of this, let's just remove all of the unnecessary parts. Let's see, uh, shoulder pad, can I remove that easily? Yep. Yep. Um, let's pop the body. <sighs> yep. There we go. Well, that came off very easily. I think it's probably uh, not glued. So I actually feel this is not like glued on very tight or securely, so it seems to be coming off. And whoop, there we go. So notice that these uh, doesn't line up quite well. There's a little bit of fold there, so that's. I mean, it's not noticeable once you close the whole thing up again, but you know, it is there. So in their video, after they put this in hot water, they also just went with their hands to peel this off. So that's that's what we're gonna do. Let's see, uh, oh, down there. So not too hard. Uh, you see, there's pretty much just one giant peg hole here holding this entire piece onto the body. And again, mine's not glued down. And that, and seeing that they also just use their fingernails in their video, then it's probably no glue in those as well. So I pretty much just use. Uh, I had some like phone screen or phone back peeling off tools, so I just used that because that's like the least destructive thing for these. These are very cheap to get, and if you're worried about that, just be very gentle and slowly just keep, you know, uh, pushing, pulling this up away from the surface or just trying to put something soft in there because uh, what you don't want to do is if you put too much strength on the corners, that will snap the plastic because you want to put strength closer to this peg to try to push something all the way in. In their video, they appeared to stick off, but I don't know, I'm not gonna do that because that feels like I'm you know removing parts of the original figure so I'm just gonna put this like you know on top of it and in the video they also used a uh, lighter to help uh, heat this thing up so um, you know, just to just wave the fire very quickly around it I'm just gonna see if I can do it just by holding it down with my hand so I'm um, totally breaking the instructions but I'm just gonna hold it down like this so lined it up Get this piece here, and then hopefully uh, this thing can just sort of push it down. Just sort of really line this thing up and get it right, because after all that effort, you really don't want to mess this up. And then uh, once it's in there, you just push this thing back down. Obviously putting most of the force on the actual peg itself. Is that in? I think that's all in. Yep, and uh, there we go. So uh, let's compare before and after photo, and you be the judge. Come on, let me get to the little bit of being too fucked up. You quite yeah, let me say, when you somehow you're being too quite yeah, la, to my get a little bit of pain with her. Come on, let me know. Okay, so this tip is not too bad, but it's still a few points of difference. And uh, the color is not too bright. So if you compare it to this. 知啦，見到個個橙係光啲啊，啲同學少少唔同啊，咁我都誒唔係好記得㗎，但係佢好似話啲同學係即係似翻劇集多少少嘅。咁首先第一樣嘢要做嘅呢，就係將唔需要部分呢移除晒，先費事唔小心做到任何破壞。See, uh, shoulder pad, can I remove that easily? Yep, yep. Um, let's pop the body. Come on, Leo, Lee, get away, lah. I'm sorry, lah. Come on, bam, my happy, then I'm going to show soon. Oh, the location, ah. Come, if you need to use a little tool, ah, maybe the phone charger, or the 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 咁啊，當我哋呢個斗篷黐翻上去嘅時候咧，我哋對一對，好似係對呢兩個窿就得
噶啦，跟住又將呢塊嘢就釘翻上去咧。如果你淨係換斗篷咧，你咁樣基本上就可以噶啦，跟翻佢呢啲圓點。我見到個圓點其實都唔係對得咁齊嘅，有少少。即係個即個折品喺度，咁當然啦，呢、這個折品都會即係到時冚住啦，唔緊要啦，但係仍然都係喺度啦，都要講提翻出嚟。好，咁望翻佢哋條片咧，佢哋淨係即係浸完水之後咧，用手指就掹到出嚟噶啦。咁啊，我咧自己就誒、呃、用咗啲平時人哋誒、呃、搞啲電話啊、開 mon 嗰啲件咧，譬如呢啲啊，慢慢攝入去去挑一挑啊，挑會變得挑一挑。跟住最尾呢，呢、这個攝到最中間呢，去即係以中間推出去啦。因為呢，呢塊咁嘅即係圓形嘅膠呢，你唔想將你嘅力呢擺喺呢四角粒頭，因為咁樣係好易即係整斷呢啲塑膠嘅。你係想將你啲力呢，係盡量有幾緊得幾緊呢，攝到入去中間呢粒的嗰度嘅。咁啊，所以呢，我就用誒我手頭上係最唔會整花塑膠嘅嘢啦，去咁做啦。咁除此之外呢，佢哋條片入面呢，佢哋就搣走咗原本嗰個貼紙嘅，但係我又唔係好想咁做啦，咁我就會 keep 住喺度啦。咁佢條片呢，亦都將誒呢張嘢呢，喺個少少火打火機嗰度呢，就興一興，等佢熱啲呢，佢就話就會容易啲去接嘅。咁我就都唔敢做啦，我想即係以最簡單嘅方法去睇下做唔做到。咁我純粹用隻手指咁樣夾住呢，就睇下得唔得啦。咁啊，呢個都可以比較下啦。咁喺同人嚟嘅好唔同嘅嘢嚟啊。咁啊，你自己可以望下呢張張相啦，自己對比下，你覺得新零舊好啲啦。跟住呢，就將呢個斗篷呢，就推返落個身度啦。咁啊，都係對返呢兩粒點啦。就誒，咁啊，頭先誒係咯，我都見到佢其實有個窿呢，佢係釘錯位嘅嗰個位置，咁變咗所以係唔係咁對嘅。咁我自己用八角剪去再剪一剪啊，對返好啦。咁佢上面嗰個位就其實本身係冇嘢㗎嘛，嗰度所以呢都會誒，即係突高咗少少嘅佢個膊頭嗰嗰嗰嗰塊嘢。咁啊，突高少少唔緊要啦。誒、嗯，真係啲咁啦啫。Hey, so、uh, I've been just way too busy before I even edited that other video. Ah,、uh, I got more stuff from、uh, SHF Upgrade. So here we have a Thank you note or whatever、um, that they've been shipping out to many different people. An extra sticker for sale one there. I think that's、um, that's still the Hopper logo, but like the shiny one, so for the one from like near the last episode, I guess. So that's cool. But I already used up <laughs> all the、um, keys I have, so I don't have that. And as mentioned in the previous part, I did you know already pre-order the、uh, DN and DK extra joints. Now my joints have not. Uh, snapped or broken yet on the regular decade or the end, so that's cool. There's no cracks in anything, but、uh, I did damage and crack one of the joints by、uh, painting the dark decade, which I actually got a replacement joint from some, I guess, other customizer who was selling you know, decade parts, you know, legs and arms and stuff. So I bought some legs. Uh, now put some arms on him just to replace that joint. So I already replaced it, but it's still nice just to have some extras here. So we got extra joints here. So I got two for decay just because I personally have decayed and as well as a dark decay.、Um, cool. So extra joints there. And also got this cape that replaces the common rider brave hard plastic cape. For those who don't remember, like you can pose this figure and make it look good, but those are hard. Plastic capes. So yes,、uh, so I'm just going to quickly go through what to do. So you basically want to remove all these shoulder pads and anything you might lose. So of course, just unplug this gashat gashato and close that. <laughs>、um, so one of the first things you need to see. So shoulder pads need to come off. So these things, that's a ball peg, so that can come off.、Uh, let me just. So they do remove. These, here we go from there,、um, and this one too. Right there we go,、uh, and then we need to remove the、uh, lower stomach. <coughs> there we go. Right, and、uh, in their tutorial video, they removed this cape by actually clipping it. So that's a destructive mod that I don't really want to do. There are some metal pins in there.、Uh, I'm gonna find out how to remove that off camera. Okay, so、uh, I might have done more damage this way. 
Uh, I tried drilling the pin, try to pull it out, but that didn't work. I don't have the right tools for it. So instead, uh, I went with the clippers, but instead of cutting this and destroying this, I went the other way and cut uh, this way, just trying to cut the metal pin. And I shouldn't have cut it completely because halfway through cutting it, the plastic was already warped enough that I could have like slowly pulled out the pin. But instead you see, I kind of just trimmed this and so, oops, I guess I did more damage, but uh, you probably do better than me. So uh, black spot here. In the video I've seen, uh, the design from the original one was a bit different. Like they had three little strips that would go in, but that was probably too fragile because this is still just very thin fabric. So instead they have this bit of black plastic here to reinforce it, I guess. So, um, okay, this bit should be the outside. And so what they do is pretty much use the center torso pin there as, as a base. Pop that in. So yep, the plastic is definitely reinforcing that. And then you get the torso and plug that back in, which is easier said than done. So you pop the cape into there, into that pin, it's black plastic reinforcing it and then you want to pop this torso back in which is uh, going to be easier said than done. Just be careful you don't snap these because then you really want to cry. Uh, Alright, there we go. It's a lot harder to do it in the viewfinder. Okay, once that's done, there are three more holes here for the... Uh, rest of this cape so uh see i think it's the uh they go onto the shoulder pad pin so one and i think it's this one two and then three and then you get your shoulder pad is this the right one no it should be this one I've already removed the cape out and just some pegging it from that pin. I'm not going to cut that pin because that's really, again, destructive or whatever. So I'm just going to line this back up. So there you go, a nice soft wire cape placed into the figure. And if I ever wanted to, I could repin the original cape. And this white cape has also covered up some of the damages that I caused to the figure. Whoops. But yeah, I think uh, this looks pretty good. So in the future, if there's anything new that interests me, I would consider picking up some other extra stuff as well. You see, I bought some new stuff as well, some old stuff. I did order some uh, extra wiry parts for uh, the uh, Comrade X8, um, Comrade Ahobi's uh, Sting special effect, one of his final attacks, just a really cool metal wire pose that they're doing. So when I ordered that, I also ordered this cape, you know, I thought that would be pretty cool. I also ordered some extra hibiki parts, which also look really cool on their website. So that was, those are kind of fun. Uh, no interest in picking up any of the uh, Zero One uh, custom, pretty much figure molds that they've done, but uh, they'll probably be okay. Just um, mind the uh, joint tightness or something. So yeah, back to the uh, original recorded part of this video. Oh, and uh, I didn't bother with the uh, 4K 60p thing uh, on my uh, phone recording because it just looks horrible. So uh, overall, the capital joints, they work absolutely fine. They're great. And if you have broken joints, then you know consider picking these up. Uh, unless you know you want to try and customize make your own which there are options out there different companies such as you know uh, I think you've got the MSG line and the uh, frame arm girls they have produced different joint packs before including uh, I've seen elbow joints that are gonna like showing up recently Figma is also releasing a joint pack themselves to replace broken joints which is great so if you don't need something that's specifically designed for Kabuto or you are okay with using a small pin vise or small drill just to drill a hole for the uh, elbow pads, then you can consider getting those because, you know, in a pack, get a pack of joints, a lot of joints in each one and they're way cheaper. But these are specifically designed for the Kabuto ones and I also ordered the decayed ones and the end ones specifically for that reason because the decayed and the end ones are actually painted as well with uh, the respective colors. So if you know if you're not that good at customization or you're bothered by just buying a pure black joint for those figures for example, then you can consider them. But of course these things still cost way more than generic joint packs, of course. 
so that is something to consider. But as they are, they work absolutely fine. The Pogwise key packs, the stickers work absolutely fine on the actual keys that come with the figure arts. The keys that they made, the holder and the keys are actually pretty decent. Um, but it is quite easy for the flip open thing to uh, like drop out and lose it. So be careful of that. And of course my biggest complaint is the actual sticker thing on, on those keys because you cannot close it. So I wish that they molded the bottom piece of the key with a bit more of a of a dent in it so the sticker can actually go in to the plastic and avoid uh, being peeled. So that, that's a big that's a bit of a bummer during the molding process and design process. So hope they can improve that in the future. The light up head looks great, except the neck joint is way too loose. So I'm gonna have to replace that joint with something that's a bit bigger or I don't know, just do something with it because um, and for the price that they're charging for I kind of think that's unacceptable if you're anywhere if you know any bits of Photoshop where you can make the eyes glow I think it's not worth getting ahead especially for the price that neck thing is just a huge bummer for me and as and you also got to remember that it doesn't come with the battery that you need for it and that battery is very specific and not the most common battery out there so that might be a, depending on where you live that might be a pain to pick up as well so i can't really recommend the head it's nice i like it i'll keep it but it, it, it's gonna bother me annoy me for a while until i fix that neck joint thing and when i bought the batteries i, I made sure i picked up a pack of like five uh, they're not the cheapest batteries out there, but they're not too expensive, not the cheapest compared to others. But I just picked up a few more batteries just to make sure, you know, I don't have to go battery hunting again for a while. And finally, we're going with the uh, chest piece and the cape. It's very easy to replace. The chest piece is absolutely just fine and does look pretty good. But the cape is a little bit on the iffy side. Again, for the price you're paying for, just I do hope that they mine with their quality control and, you know, material decisions. So if you look on the SHF Upgrade website, you see they sell a lot of upgrading products and depending on the characters you, you like, if there's a particular character that you really like, you can consider picking up the accessory for that particular character and you probably have a good time with it. But once again, considering the, price, the prices that they're charging for, I do understand you know, a limited and smaller production is gonna make the cost higher, but still, a lot of the stuff they design, I think there's a common theme here. It's just a little bit off with some of the stuff that they do. Oops, we forgot to ship something, but you know, we'll go ahead and ship it right away for you if you need. So, you know, it's like apology accepted, not to bother, people make mistakes, but still, that's something that they should keep out for, you know, um, I mean, you know, I'm okay with it. I'm not in a rush to get these things. But when, if you have someone that is in a rush and they're paying a premium, then you better make sure you ship that thing out as quickly as you can and make sure you ship it correctly. Same with the products. If people are paying for premium for it, you better fix out the bugs and fix out all the kinks before you start shipping things out to other people. Now, I've not seen anyone else like making like, complaints or major complaints about their products. So I think most people are happy with their stuff. And overall, some of their stuff is pretty good. So if you don't mind paying for the price and you know, they are still a relatively new group and new company doing all these things and you don't mind that too, then you know, go ahead and check out their website and pick out the things for the, you know, some of your favorite characters if they have any accessories for it. And I think, you know, you have a, you should be pleased with it. But for characters that you just sort of, eh, I don't mind uh, the SH figure I think the SH figure is good enough. I don't really need to do anything with it. Then, you know, it's not really too much point getting these upgrade packs. So like, again, you have to really like that particular character to want to improve him or get some of the kinks out. As for the stickers, uh, I don't know. Um, they do have a tiny like shop counter at Inns Point Hong Kong and they have given out uh, you know, free stickers in the past. So that's, that's kind of nice. They've also sold stickers at a very low price and the proceeds went to the cause, so that's nice too. But you know, if you again, if you're any good with you know, any photoshopping and stuff, you can easily just lay something out your own stickers. But they do make it a little bit convenient for you. So overall, a decent group of stuff, but with just a few very annoying things here and there. So I honestly hope that their quality control improves. Uh, I hope the whole product line improves and uh, I, I expect to see some better and good stuff from them and when I do I will continue to support and, and buying certain bits and pieces that suit my needs and the characters that I have. So um, 
Yeah, if they done light up heads for uh, Zero One, maybe they can do some more light up heads for I mean, maybe previous riders and see how that goes. You know, I, I do still like making these videos, but you know, there's a lot of stuff going on at home right now. And so these videos are going to be sporadic at best. So I don't expect to have too many videos coming out. Uh, just a few quick notes here, as if you guys Baby Yoda, pretty awesome, swapping her arm joints a bit too tight, but overall a very cute little figure. Best of armor man joints, pretty awesome, but the head's too, a bit too small. And uh, let's pick up Captain America and Loki. Captain America, you know, the cat versus cat version, is freaking awesome and the price is dropping in Hong Kong, so hopefully you can get a good price one as well. Loki is a bit of a mixed bag because the quality control is all over the place with the face print, and since it's a premium band that product, it's hiding in the cardboard box and you can't see it, so good luck if you buy one, hopefully you won't get a messed up face.